Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to prepare 1% RBC suspension and demonstrating the whole procedure will be my one of my colleagues in the research lab that I work in, Dr. Furkan Shahid, who you already would have known if you have been watching my vlogs. So like yeah, the things that we need, I'm going to show you guys that first and then we'll get on with the whole protocol. Why do we need uh, such 1% RBC suspensions? Well, uh, because of the tests test that we perform here, which are mostly H and H I. So, like, yeah. Okay, so here we have our chicken blood. This is a 15 ml falcon tube that we'll be using, and this is normal saline solution and a dropper. Okay, the, the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to uh, take out 13.5 ml of this blood and put it in it in this falcon okay so dr Furkan is pouring it make sure that the measurements are correct or else the last percentage is not going to be proper and the whole test might fail okay so this is our blood and this is the measure or a balance that we are going to use because we are supposed to centrifuge it so these both need to be equal so we have put it in the centrifugation machine and now we are going to give it a spin for how many minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes we are going to take these out and you will see their appearance now. As you can see most of the blood has settled down into a pellet at the bottom of the tube and we are going to discard the super natant and I'll let you guys know what happens next. Okay when it comes to discarding the super natant you need to be careful not to disturb the pellet that has formed down below. Okay, so we are now going to add in normal saline solution and make it up to 13.5 ml. Okay, now gently shake the whole thing. Not too roughly. Okay, we have placed the whole thing again into the centrifugation machine and you're supposed to repeat this whole thing about three times until the supernatant is clear. After the last centrifugation, uh, this is what happens to the pellet. We have expelled the supernatant and now what we're going to do, we're going to pick up how much? 500 microliters. 500 microliter of this pellet and discard, uh, I'm sorry, not discard it and introduce it to 50 ml of normal saline and that will give us? 1% washed RBCs. RBCs, which you can uh, further use in your HA or HI test. Okay, so like here, and I'm going to go show you guys the color it's supposed to be. And this is the color 1% uh, wash RBCs are supposed to be. As you can see, it's not too much red, not too much light. I don't know what to call this color. Probably something around reddish pink. So like, yeah, this is the color you need for your HA or HI tests. 